I'm actually at Burrow Grove Station at the moment and uh, spotted this crimson rosella is having a snack on some of the blackberries there These, um, they're not native, these blackberries. I think they're introduced European. some slightly closer to him again beautiful markings what I call them crimson rosellas crimson blue with model black markings and a beautiful contrasting blue cheek yeah I've got this camera hand held at the moment so I saw it's a bit shaky He's got some berries stain on his beak. So yeah, it's having a bit of tucker on the side of the railway. This is interesting, um, it's uh, 11 o'clock at night in Melbourne and there's this fig tree uh, and I can hear this squawking and um, looked up and there was some fruit bats feeding on this fig tree um, I've got a light shining on it a torch actually so I don't really know how good this is going to come out but yeah it's just I just found it interesting um, how this colony of fruit bats that live in Melbourne seem to fly fly around quite a lot looking for something to eat oh it's quite noisy they squabble and squeak I don't know if this torch is very good at shining a light. I think their eyes glow. When you shine a torch on them, their eyes glow in the dark, so that's sort of a giveaway. Um, I've got a... This camera's on a monopod, uh, so it's 
bit um, not very stable. It's quite a big fig tree this is. Oh, it's my thumb there. <laughs> when I'm holding the torch. But, uh, I'm just trying to see if there's any others. Finally got them to squeak. For an introduced little species of bird, these goldfinches, which is a um, European bird, pretty colourful for a feral species, pretty harmless, um, they're just grass seeders, grass seed eaters, certainly having a good, uh, certainly having a good feed there, it's a very windy day today so it's very hard to keep this camera steady. And of course the uh, wind's blowing the grass or the stalks that these birds are feeding on. Pretty little bird. species they are, I've got no idea, but they are extremely well camouflaged, although there's only a small fella, probably a, yeah, probably just a youngster, and the only reason I did actually spot him was when I approached it they scuttled away, and it was the movement. I waited patiently for him to come back out again. And yeah, so it's just on the side of the area here in North Melbourne. 